In this problem, they've told us to make a substitution that u is equal to 2x plus 1. So I'm going to start with that. u equals 2x plus 1. And because this is dx, and I'm going to then be integrating the square root of u, I'm going to need to replace that dx, and I can only do that by taking the derivative. du dx will equal 2 or dx will equal du over 2. If we put that 2 over 1 and cross multiply, you can see how that happens pretty easily. And so that means, notice I did not put any integration limits, and I'm not going to right now. We just have the integral so far with these left blank. The square root of u times du over 2. Well, I'm going to factor that 1 half, that 2 in the denominator out, and write it like this. Now it's time to fill in those integration limits. We can't use a 0 and a 2. The reason we can't is because those integration limits were in terms of x. So instead, I need to change these limits and put them in terms of u. This would be my u lower, and this would be my u upper. How do I figure out what those are? Well, I use my u substitution that u is equal to 2x plus 1. Well, that means my u lower will be equal to my 2 times x lower. And my lower x value is 0. So my lower limit will be u equals 2 times 0, or 0 plus 1. That makes this lower limit a 1. To find the upper limit, I'll use that same u substitution. Now we're looking for the upper and we're going to use the upper limit of integration for the x. So this 2 is now going to fill in that x, and we're going to have u equals 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So my upper u is equal to 5. So all that means is the integral from 0 to 2 of 2x plus 1 dx is exactly equal <clears throat> to the integral from 1 to 5 of the square root of u du. This problem would be done, but we're just going to keep going. I just want you to see how you could find the answer from here. The antiderivative of u to the 1 half would be u to the 3 halves, because we're going to add 1 to the 1 half power that's really there, times 2 thirds, and we would evaluate this from 1 to 5. We're going to make some room for this work up here. That means I really have 2 thirds of whatever the three halves root, or five to the third, the square root of that, minus two thirds, one square root to the third power. Now there's not a lot we can do with this first term because, well, let's see, five cubed will be 125, so we really want two thirds, the square root of 125, minus 1 cubed is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1, so minus 2 thirds. Let's see if this simplifies at all. The square root of 125, well this is 5 times 25, so we could say, 
we could take the square root of 25 and get 5. So we'll have 2 times 5 over 3 times the square root of 5 minus 2 thirds. That would be one way to actually evaluate the integral. But we didn't have to evaluate the integral. We just had to show that these two pieces right here were equivalent.